Hello, Mr. Stephen Lim. Today, my team and I are going to be presenting on the deep web, and this will be our e-learning presentation. My team members are Brandon, Daniel, Zhen, being me, Xunui, and Xu Chao. Moving on. So what is the deep web? The deep web is a world wide web content that is not part of the surface web. And okay, here's a very brief description for what is a surface web. Surface web are content that is available to the general public. And I will be touching more on this later in the slides. Moving on. So most of web information is buried far down on dynamically generated sites and standard search engines are unable to find it. So what does this mean? Right now, if you go onto Google or Yahoo or Bing, any search engine, you type anything in there, for example, uh, YouTube, you will notice that the search engine will bring up a list of websites for you to click and for you to enter. However, if you search something like maybe, you know, uh, marijuana or heroin or something like that, it doesn't bring you to those sites. It maybe brings you to uh, sites that description, what are mar what, what is marijuana, what is heroin, what it does to you, but it does not bring you to those sites that sells marijuana or has information regarding all this uh, illegal stuff. I'll explain more on this later. So this is the famous illustration of the iceberg, the iceberg illustration, I mean. And you can see right here, the picture depicts that 4% of the World Wide Web content is surface web, whereas 96% of the World Wide Web content is the deep web. So what are surface web examples? I mean, here are some of the examples of, of surface web. Social medias and e-commerce websites, such as Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and eBay. And as I mentioned earlier, if you were to go onto any of the search engines, type Facebook, the first few links will lead you to Facebook. So what is the deep web? Okay, the deep web are websites that are unsearchable. As I mentioned earlier, you just go on to um, the any search engine, type in uh, any drug, like for example, most people when they want to buy something, they want they put uh, WT, WTB, which stands for willing to buy. And if you put WTB, uh, 100 grams of marijuana, you will never be able to find it because this are under the deep web. And of course, such deep webs can be used for uh, most of the sites are dealing with drugs, like child pornography, illegal markets such as uh, you can buy and sell firearms, and of course, maybe even assassination services. Moving on. So what are examples of the deep web? The most famous or rather infamous deep web example is the Silk Road. Okay, the Silk Road, think of it as an uh, illegal Amazon or uh, eBay website where people buy and sell illegal goods such as drugs, fake IDs, and hacking software. And of course, other illegal stuff that I mentioned earlier, maybe um, firearms, drugs, uh, assassination services, child trafficking, and many more illegal stuff that I believe you have the uh, creativity to think of. So what can the deep web be used for? The deep web can be a vital tool for intelligence agents. It is used to uh, enhance and sorry and enforce the law. For example, uh, you know the police can find who are the people that are trafficking drugs, are trafficking uh, children, who are the ones that are selling their assassination services, and this will help the intelligence agents to enforce the law. And of course, criminals and anybody can also use the deep web. So what have we learned from the deep web? The advantages? I mean, the deep web can be used uh, to maintain, uphold privacy, confidentiality, and uh, to be anonymous on the web. However, the disadvantages are, you know, criminals make use of the deep web to commit serious crimes, and you know, it takes time to trace them. And yeah, that is the end of our presentation and
Thank you and goodbye.